Thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome all to the 2019 Penville High School Commencement Ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. We're finally free. I'm honored to be delivering one of today's commencement speeches. So instead of just saying a bunch of cliche things that you probably already know, I'm just going to share with you a story with fewer cliches. So, one day during my fifth grade PE class, my PE teacher, Mr. Bruggen, was leading out in some stretches. He instructed us to do jumping jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, and then butterflies. For some, myself included, the butterfly stretch was a foreign concept. And so he demonstrated it to us by simply placing the soles of each shoe against one another while holding the position. This demonstration then led him to share a story with the class. He said, I once had a student named John, and he loved to exercise. One day, when we were doing butterflies, he began to move his legs up and down as if there were wings flapping. He did this faster and faster and faster until eventually he flew straight out of the Parkwood Elementary gym and all the way to the moon. And he hasn't been back since. <laughs> After hearing this, I was so shook. I could imagine Johnny flying out of the Parkwood gym and landing on the moon. He had convinced me that this was possible and that in fact I myself could do it. I have never believed in something so strong this is. Real fast. When I got home that day, I ran to my room, closed the door, and got in the butterfly position, and got to flapping. I just knew if I tried really, really hard, I would fly. I quickly learned this was impossible. <laughs> a couple weeks after hearing the story of Flying Johnny, my teacher passed away tragically. His death shocked the whole school, much less the entire Panville community. I distinctly remember walking into school and being overwhelmed with sadness and grief. I had truly never experienced these emotions at this intensity before. It was at this moment that I realized the impact he made on my life. Short and simple the interactions they were, but each one was filled with meaning, value, and belief. Mr. Bruggen will never know the impact he had on me. Graduates, as you go on to become lawyers, engineers, paramedics, teachers, and even maybe a Chick-fil-A greeter, do everything with a public purpose in mind. Remember that you are someone's role model and source of inspiration. You never know who is observing you and the positive impact your actions may have on someone's life. Be the person that encourages someone, encourages others that they can do the impossible. Be the person that convinces others they can fly. Be a Mr. Bourbon. Thank you. Earlier this year, my little brother, David, a freshman, came into my room at an ungodly hour with his phone. He proudly displayed the screen and said, Will, I made a playlist of all the songs we've jammed to in your car for when you leave for college. I didn't know what to say. I was both saddened and awestruck at the skill with which he had procured a perfect mix of Drake, Frank Ocean, and Childish Gambino songs to encapsulate years of memories. Regardless of where in the world I am, I'll always have access to my best memories in Maryland Heights via this playlist. I want the same for all of you. So I've taken this speech as an opportunity to present the Pattonville playlist that we should all remember. First up is No Role Models by J. Cole. I'm speaking to students of the most diverse school district in Missouri. Before me are students who have demonstrated outstanding individuality in their talents, their opinions, and their aspirations. This class has chosen not to model itself after the generation before it. This class has and will continue to prove that it is something entirely different. The individuality of this year's seniors will, without a doubt, show the world what it has been missing. J. Cole would agree, Pattonville's class of 2019 doesn't need the same old role models. Our second song is Survivor by Destiny's Child. 
As a class, we face incredible adversity in our four years. We've lost championship games. We've lost classmates and friends. Yet no community has demonstrated greater perseverance and tenacity in the face of these challenges than our class. Regardless of the kind of night we had, we could always count on the person at lunch the next day to lend us a chair, the person in class to catch us up on what we missed, or the person on the team to push us through a tough practice. The strength with which this class has overcome obstacles is undoubtedly impressive, but more importantly, it will continue to serve each of us long after high schools. We're each survivors and none of us will give up. The final song on our playlist is Elevate by Drake. This year's seniors have accumulated numerous awards and received frequent recognition. We've demonstrated excellence in our academics, athletics, extracurriculars, and community service. We decided that one homecoming week championship just wasn't enough, so we took home two. However, it seems that no matter the level of accomplishment, the class of 2019 always sets its sights on the next goal. For a group of such talented and ambitious students, complicity has never been an option. As we move forward after graduation, we will continue to employ this mindset, challenging ourselves and one another to be the best we can be in school, at work, or with our family. Even after this ceremony concludes, each member of our class will continue to elevate themselves and those around them. Now, whether you use Apple Music or Spotify Premium, I hope you all enjoy our playlist. It embodies what we've done together as a class and what we still have yet to accomplish. It contains the most powerful memories of the past four years, and we'll all jam to it for the rest of our lives. Thank you.